So what are the benefits of taking a one year program? Just making this video to let you know that it's possible for you to get a permanent residence through that pathway. And I'm going to explain those further in this video. Just stay tuned. Coming to Canada, you may want to take public health or courses related to health such that you are in demand across the country. That is something that Canada really needs right now. I realize that in Alberta, registered nurses and registered psychiatric nurses are in demand right now. Plumbers are in high demand in Nova Scotia. Every province has occupied patient in demand and they review it every year there was also a stream that was launched which is for clerics so for people in the religious space pastors imams and the likes engineering is always in demand in alberta one of your takeaways in this video should be check the provincial website that's the province of your choice check the provincial website daily for updates you can only apply for postgraduate work permit once in a lifetime so you need to be very careful hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is yamc and if you're new welcome to my channel happy new year guys this is my first video in the year 2023 on this channel i have decided that this year i'm going to be putting out more contents that i usually do not put out or contents that i usually play safe around or contents that I usually shy away from so one of them is this particular video for those people that have been on my channel before you know that i'm one to preach coming to canada to study two years program so that you can get three years postgraduate work permit but there are exceptions to things right so in this video i'm going to let you know why you can also apply for one year program and still be able to find your way on the path to permanent residency in canada if this is the content that you're looking out for then definitely keep on watching okay so i have everything written down here because it's quite technical and i want you guys to stay attentive just so that you do not miss anything in this video the reason why people come to canada to study one year program sometimes it's not because they want to sometimes it's just because the kind of program they want is most likely a one year program or because of finances finances is a big deal which we all know when you come to Canada. So if you want to come to Canada, that's one of the things that you should dwell on, research on and ensure to convince the visa officer that you're able to finance yourself and whatnot. But there are some people that cannot. So that's one of the main reasons that I've seen why people come to Canada and take one year programs. There's been a lot of debate around this particular conversation. Oh, should you study one year program in Canada or should you study two years program in Canada? If you don't already know, if you study one year program in Canada, you get one year postgraduate work permits if you study two years program in canada you get three years postgraduate work permit so usually people would even myself i've told people severally come to canada to study two years program just so that you can play safe and you know have three years work permit and within that time be able to find your path to permanent residency and the likes or getting a job so you are not tensed about it but i've seen people do one year programs and they are able to convert or transition into being a permanent resident once i have somebody that is comfortable enough to share Share is our experience i'm going to bring the person here to talk to you guys but this particular conversation that we're having today is based off of experiences from others and also some of the research that i've done also before i go further into this video i want to let you know that not all schools are dli schools that designated learning institutions and if you're not in a dli institution you most likely would not be eligible for a postgraduate work permit and also not all dli are eligible for postgraduate work permit so you have to be very careful and ensure that the proposed school you're coming to attend is a school that can give you the postgraduate work permit except if you're not interested in staying back in canada after but i will personally tell you that even if you initially do not want to stay back in canada you never can tell what will happen you might get here even during the one year program find out oh you probably like the country or you have access to better jobs or landing your dream jobs and all of that so you don't want to close that door completely so that's why i keep telling people to check in with the school to be sure that that school is a school that can give you a postgraduate work permit so having said all of that don't forget that you can only apply for postgraduate work permit once in a lifetime so you need to be very careful and you need to have all the right information at your disposal in my opinion if you want to come to canada and you do not have so much finances you can apply to come to canada to study one year program when you get in here you can either do two things the first one before you get done with the four year program try to apply for another admission into that school or another 
school or in another program of your choice or something related also get another one year degree such that your first degree for the one year program and the second degree from the second program you add the two together to get a three years postgraduate work permit i mean by that time and especially because of the current immigration option that we have right now whereby international students do not have restrictions on their work availability you should be able to raise funds from you know summer or even when you are working you know like i said there is no restriction anymore so you're not really working for 20 hours however be very careful so that it does not affect your education also try to make sure to save i mean i don't really have to mention this but you know what i mean <laughs> so the second part is ensure to choose programs that are in demand also ensure to choose the provinces that have those kind of programs that are in demand so what am i saying here if you're coming to saskatchewan for example saskatchewan is very big on agriculture so if you're coming in here and you want to study a program that is related to agriculture agri tech or you know natural resources and all of that this province is one of those very good provinces that you can always have occupation in demand so that when you're done with your one year program you can apply for occupation in demand for that province and also get nominated to proceed to the express entry i hope that you guys understand what i am saying so because we're in a tech savvy world you want to ensure that the kind of programs that you select or the kind of programs that you are going for are programs that are either technical or soft tech so what do i mean by technical tech those are like core tech programs like it like coding and the like software engineering and all of those technical programs or you want to go for soft programs like uh, business analytics um, data analytics and all of those related uh, programs because right now those are like things that are in demand across the world and across canada so it doesn't really restrict you to a particular province also while i was talking to my friend today she also raised a very good point which is all jobs have a tech side to it so if you already maybe in a particular field and for example accounting if you're in accounting already maybe you are working back in your home country you're an accountant and the likes you want to look look out for um, the tech side of that accounting program and then look for a program that suits that so that you are not necessarily branching out because if you branch out sometimes some people struggle with the program when they get here so if you know that you don't really have that capacity that you most likely don't want to branch out of your field that you've always known or that you're familiar with so you can just get programs that are around your field and just you know make sure that they have like some tech side to it like accounting you can look for maybe data analytics i don't know if that's related but like tech courses that are a bit infused into accounting but they're like tech in a way like soft tech and if you feel like this program is something that you are not so familiar with or you studied back in your home country but you are currently not working in that field and you want to go ahead to you know take such programs in canada just because they are in demand is also something you can do what you would do is after applying for the admission and all before you come into canada you can start taking courses online in that program just so that you familiarize yourself and you know have that foundation knowledge before coming into canada and entering into like the core program because one thing i know or i've heard is that one year programs usually have like so much packed into them in a very short time because one year program is just two semesters there might not be time to you know give you that basic basic knowledge like that it might just be you jumping into like the core part of the program so you want to start with the foundation knowledge like taking classes online there's coursera there's udemy there's linkedin learning all of those tools are available for you to start classes online and recently i've seen a lot of people even back in my home country that have classes online you know they just you know create classes online and have people before you join the classes and they also send the materials to you so that's also something that you may want to consider so what are the benefits of taking a one-year program you will be through with your education in time like i said it's like within eight months you're done so it makes you just you know get through with your education it's also cost effective because it, compared to someone taking a two years program it's cost effective another thing is studying one year program gives you the opportunity to be on top of your toes so you are not sluggish you know that you have just one year postgraduate work permit after your one year program so it keeps you on your feet it makes you to be like alert to information and just makes you to be on top of the news don't get me wrong people with one year program get tensed a lot but i mean if this is what you know 
low that you can afford then i'm just making this video to let you know that it's possible for you to get a permanent residence through that pathway and i'm going to explain those further in this video just stay tuned another thing is it makes you to start your permanent residence journey as soon as you get your letter of completion from your university another thing is your study gives you additional points just like studying two years program in canada so for example if i bring it home to saskatchewan on this occupation in demand eligibility criteria which i'm going to leave on the screen for you and you can also check the description box i'm going to leave a lot of links there in different provinces and i'm not trying to zero out ontario or vancouver from this conversation but you know if you are coming in for one year program most likely you are trying to do that because of financial reasons so some provinces that can help you get some of those programs at reduced tuition fees and also like i said they have a lot of occupation in demand in Saskatchewan, manitoba alberta nova scotia newfoundland prince edward island like some of those provinces are provinces that you can go to they are not so expensive they are provinces that are quite affordable their cost of living is also affordable and their universities are not that expensive the saskatchewan website for the eligibility criteria which i said i'll leave on the screen if you came in for masters you get 23 points towards your occupation in demand points and for saskatchewan what you need is 60 points out of 110 points for you to get qualified and so when they give you that nomination once saskatchewan gives you the nomination then you can apply to um the express entry profile which you know in the next draw you automatically get get selected you automatically get your ita which is invitation to apply one of your takeaways in this video should be check the provincial website that's the province of your choice check the provincial website daily for updates Follow ircc on social media especially on twitter they are always very active and i find out that that's like the place where that's like a major source of information on social media twitter is like ircc's favorite social media platform so make sure to follow ircc for any updates because they post updates there from time to time so you don't want to miss any of that also check cic.ca that's the um canada's official website check it on a daily basis set your notification and all of that so that you do not miss any important information so what i'm going to suggest for you is if you have more than three years work experience in your home country it is okay to apply for one year program here in canada because like i said when you come to canada and you're done with your one year program you get one year postgraduate work permit and within that time you're, because you already applied for a program that is in demand like it like agriculture and because you are in the program province where you know that those occupations are in demand like almost every year irrespective of the fact that it is reviewed from time to time you know that those particular um, programs are always in demand you will most likely get a job in that area and when you get that job you can always put in for occupation in demand in that province and after that you get nominated then you can proceed to open express entry profile and get nominated in the next draw saskatchewan the sinp and ee that ee is express entry which means that you must have an active express entry profile before applying for the occupation in demand but there are some that you do not necessarily really have to have an active profile all you need to do is just get nominated first from the province and then go ahead to continue with your express entry profile be very strategic about the program that you're coming to take and also be strategic about the province that you're going to especially if you know that you're coming in for a one-year program so for example for bc it jobs they're always in demand saskatchewan and manitoba um, their prairie provinces agriculture is always in demand engineering is always in demand in alberta oil and gas questions like that are always in demand so you already know the kind of program you should go for recently that's last year 2022 there was also a stream that was launched which is for clerics so for people in the religious space pastors imams and the likes there's also a stream right now in alberta that you can apply for i already mentioned that in saskatchewan for their occupation in demand you must score at least 60 out of 100 points and it is based off of a particular eligibility criteria based on five factors your age your work experience the education level that you have is it masters is it um, bachelors you know all of that also plays its part every province has occupation in demand they review it every year according to their market needs which is what i explained initially for example currently plumbers are in high demand in nova scotia truck drivers are in high demand in saskatchewan also health workers in fact recently as i lately last year we're in 2023 now so that's 2022 i'm still trying to get used to 2023 late last year saskatchewan 
launched a new stream for health workers such that international health workers can apply through that stream as well so it's something that is high in demand but i find that a lot of times people go for occupation in demand because it's more friendly than the usual express entry or the usual provincial nomination so that's something you want to look into and that's why i am emphasizing on that in this video i tried to make some research and i realized that in alberta registered nurses and registered psychiatric nurses are in demand right now transport truck drivers retail and wholesale trade managers retail sales supervisors accounting and related clerks and customer care representatives heavy duty equipment machines they are actually in demand in alberta right now i'm also going to leave the link in the description box for manitoba i realized that business finance and admin jobs are in demand natural applied sciences health occupations education law social community and government natural resources arts and culture you know they are in demand bc was also last updated in november 2022 and the streams include bcpnp tech bc is Br british columbia by the way international graduates health authority that is physicians midwives nurse practitioners skilled workers those are professional workers management workers technical trade or other skilled occupations are also in demand in bc and if you notice the trend you can see that all these provinces actually need health workers so if you are coming to canada you may want to take public health or courses related to health so that you are in demand across the country that is something that canada really needs right now it's no news that canada is in demand for labor you know there is labor shortage in the province but especially there is more demand for health workers across the country so that's also a very good occupation to branch into if you have been thinking about it or if you are yet to think about it this one i don't think a lot of people know but when you come to canada and you're married this one is for the married folks if you're married and you come into canada whether you came in together with your spouse or he or she came in later on once your spouse comes into canada and starts working in one of these professions because they have open work permits so while you're studying they can always work once they have jobs in you know one of these occupation in demand list after a year they can apply for permanent resident as well and that's also a very very good way to become permanent residents with your family so if you have a one-year program you might also want to use that route as well just that it's going to cost a little bit of money because when you're coming in with your spouse you have to show proof that you and your family have that resources to be able to take care of yourself but yeah that's basically what i wanted to tell you just for clarity it's still advisable to come to canada to study two years program so that you don't have to you know start thinking about oh how do i tra transition into becoming a permanent resident but i'm just letting you know that even as a one-year program you can as well still you know come into canada and transition easily into being a permanent resident in canada so yeah i wanted to share that with you today and wanted to bring that to your attention just in case you've not been thinking about it if you have other video ideas that you love me to make let me know in the comment section so that i'll make those videos for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys